So today we're going to talk about how Senator Warren, who is one of the 2020 candidates for the Democratic Party, has proposed a debt relief or debt forgiveness for uh, people with student loans. She released this this past Monday. So with everything, I want to bring you the information so you understand exactly what uh, the proposal or the plan means for you as a person with student loans or a person who has paid off student loans. Um, and also the pros and cons of the program, mostly pros, but every pro has a con, you know, how it goes. So let's get into it, right? Let's get into this intro and get the info. crisis, and it is a crisis, I must say, has reached $1.57 trillion with a T. Let that sink in. I did just finish paying off my student loans in 2018 in December. If you did not know, you can watch that video here or here. YouTube changes it every time, but it'll be up here for you somewhere here. Um, so Senator Warren's plan, what she proposes is to eliminate or erase $50,000 of 95% of the population who has student loans if they make under $100,000 a year. That sounds wonderful because I would have benefited from that. And I've been seeing all over Twitter and Instagram how people who have paid off their student loans are really salty about it because they didn't get help from the government. Okay, we can be salty, but we can also be happy and supportive of a plan like this coming into fruition to help those who still have to pay student loans. Don't be selfish. Now, there are pros and cons to this um, plan. Senator Warren states that she hopes to give more information to her plan and more detail or how to solve a lot of the issues that have been brought up to her attention. Um, so we can only really wait and see what she's going to propose and if she will follow through. Politicians be talking out their ass sometimes. But let's break down what her proposals are. Okay, so the first part of Senator Warren's plan is to make all public college institutions free. Um, New York did pass some similar kind of law for CUNYs and possibly SUNYs. I haven't really looked into it too much because I can use it, I can apply. If you were going for your undergrad, you would be able to apply and go to school for free if you're going to a SUNY or a CUNY school. So Senator Warren is proposing that we have that nationwide, that all public institutions of higher education, so all public colleges, you would be able to attend for free. So that was the first proposal in her plan. Now, the second part of Senator Warren's plan would help 45 million people with student loans. So her plan is to essentially wipe out $50,000 of your debt if you make $100,000 or less. Now that would greatly, greatly, greatly affect or help many people who have that amount or slightly a little more as it would free up more money for them to buy homes, to be entrepreneurs, to have kids, which is what the Democratic Party is kind of uh, running on to help boost the uh, economy or the finances in America. One of the major cons or one of the major things that have been coming around that people have been questioning is would this help the really wealthy? Because it's believed that most of the people who have a lot of student loans at well over $50,000 is because they went to be lawyers or they went to be doctors. So they are making a, a grand amount of money and if they receive loan forgiveness, then is that really a, a break? like kind of like assistance for the, the wealthy. So that's one of the critiques that are coming her way um, with this proposed plan. Of course, the plan hasn't been released in its entirety and Senator Warren, Warren has stated that she is going to release more information about it. Uh, this was really, you know how politicians are, this was really just to jumpstart interest in her with the younger uh, millennials and the Gen Zers that can vote. Can, are there Gen Zers that can vote? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so this is, Democrats really, really, really like to play up to the younger crowd because millennials are closing in on the baby boomer um, lead, essentially, in the voting polls and in society in general. Like, we're, you know, they're dying out. That's what humans do. So addressing things that are really major issues to millennials and younger uh, generations is key in order to win 
the race. So I understand why they're kind of trying to appeal to us. Now, the, the real world deal on this is this plan of hers will cost quite a pretty penny because it's not just debt forgiveness and it's not just um, free schooling for public institutions. She also wants to increase grants. She also wants to increase opportunities for minority and lower socioeconomic students to be able to afford books and housing, which are also huge financial burdens in school that students do take loans for, you know. I've, I've taken loans in school to cover both my tuition, my housing, and my, my food and books and things like that. So she is trying to add the holistic view of going to college and, and being a part of the higher education system um, and make it more equitable for everyone who's trying to take part. What makes Senator Warren's plan really, really, really different, what I, I like about it a lot, because there are things that I like and don't like about it. What I really like about it is that it covers federal and private loans and there has never been a program that I've seen that even mentions or breathes life into the fact that private loans are the biggest prize of the student loan problem. So this would tackle the $50,000, the $50,000 would tackle private loans as well, so that gets a thumbs up from me. Now, where she's going to face a bit of kickback, essentially, Besides this plan costing $1.25 trillion, um, she's trying to tax the wealthy, and you know how the wealthy don't like to be taxed. Go figure. Uh, so she also wants states to chip in for covering like cost of tuition and things. Again, that's going to be difficult, not impossible, but it's not going to be something that they want to do. Um, yeah, so she's imposing, or her plan is trying to impose a 2% tax on 50 million and a 3% tax on 1 billion. Numbers I've never even seen or thought about ever seeing. So she essentially is proposing a wealth tax um, to tax the wealthy people to help pay for this plan. In my lifetime, I've never seen that work, but we can be hopeful, can't we? Okay, she also has a whole bunch of other plans for like universal childcare and pre-K and all that great stuff that we want. Um, I'm sure a health bill or like a, something to do with like health benefits is coming soon down the pipeline because that's what they do. Um, this also is very reminiscent of the things Bernie Sanders tried to do in 2016 in his, in his race. So the moral of this video and trying to help you inform you of what's going on and the plans and what's moving forward and how it will affect you is you need to do your research on who's running for this 2020 election. You need to see who the Democrats are, who the Republicans are, who the liberals are, everything, you know, the independent parties, everything, because this election in 2020 is real. It is, it is in a year and we need to make moves to improve our, our lives. So do your research. That's it.